so wonderful to be back in South Lake Tahoe for the American Century Championship where entertainers and athletes are here to enjoy and also compete. Double Eagle will earn you 10 points, a hole in one. If you're lucky to get one, you'll get eight on the board. Six for an eagle, a birdie gives you three points. A par is worth one point. The greatest receiver in the world. The GOAT, Steve, of course. We're talking about Jerry Rice on this par 361 yards today, a narrow green. How about that? Quick walk. Right? I don't know that I know too many people who love golf more than Jerry does. Tough situation here throughout the week. This is Vinny Del Negro, uh, the former NBA player and coach on the tee at the par three. This is a, a raucous hole. You'll hear a lot of cheering and hazing here. How about that shot? Oh, almost buying some drinks, Vinny, with a birdie on the opening hole and then just pars for Charles Barkley at 17. What if he makes this one for one point? We can only hope. It might get noisy. Tell you what, look at the speed here. Okay. So he'll have that for his bogey to not lose a point. Meanwhile, from one Yankee great to another, of course, Roger Clemens, seven-time winner of the Cy Young Award, 11 times an all-star major league baseball oh. champion two times. And I think we probably can't say it enough, or we won't say it enough. Yet another person who just adores the game and cannot get enough. Peter, what would you do here? Just try and bunt a little wedge? Or yeah, I would, I would take a 60 and just try to fly it just to the fringe and let it trickle because, as you both said, it's downhill, it's fast, and it can get away from you very quickly, although this looks pretty good. Look at it's this. Pretty darn good on speed. How just about to this? show you what we know, Jake. <laughs> You know what I would have done? Let, let me rethink that. I would have putted that. <laughs> Pretty darn good, huh? It's real good. <laughs> so par for Seth from a difficult line on the second shot. Back to 11. Where Annika has this birdie try. Put it this way, Steve, as we pointed out starting off, maybe it's a bit of an exhibition for Annika, but... You're right. She may, uh, no. well, there we go. As she gets into each round, it's Come probably going to be a little bit more serious. Peter, this is your kind of event, but when you were competing, like at Pebble or at the, the California Desert, you were out there grinding. She's it. ready to go, yeah. man. 17. Brett Saberhagen. That makes too much sense, Peter. <laughs> I can't believe it was 1985. It's a long time ago when he was one of those members of the Kansas City Royals. World Series championship team. That's a good shot. Yeah, very good shot. Look at Brett oh. Saberhagen. Whoa. Yikes. Remember, a hole in one would have been eight. At the 13th, Rogers down there with Steph trying to make a birdie. By the 18 feet downhill, quick left to right breaker. This looks pretty good. Did he? There it is. His first birdie of the day after 12 consecutive pars. And Steph Curry suddenly finds himself Whoa. in the mix. South Lake Tahoe and Jimmy, we love coming back here every summer. And we do indeed. And Patrick Mahomes did not want to be here with his second shot on the par three. But how about this? Oh, come on. From what, uh, We didn't even know where the green was. Jimmy. And, and hold on a second. And, and, the, and the uphill leave, Peter. Oh, my. You know what, Peter? we got to look at that again. Yeah. How was he able to execute this shot? Well, I don't know, but I wasn't aware that the 12th hole, which is only 154 yards, opens up <laughs> from 100 yards to the right. To me, I think he just hit it up over the trees to the best of his ability, and he caught it clean. It didn't touch anything through the trees, and it gets down to about two feet. That was an amazing shot. We are back in the shadows. Justin Timberlake getting his third from just off the green here, 13. Oh, go in. Go in. Look at this. Oh, my. <laughs> now, that was a touch of class. That was fantastic. Yeah. Let's go out to 16. Yeah, this is Ray Allen, and uh, a note on Justin Timberlake. Today is actually his son Phineas's first birthday so it was a year ago today that he and his wife jessica beale had their second son phineas what a shot whoa remember ray last year jimmy had a really good run at it 
Wow. All right, so now the birdie putt, and Raj, uh, after all that discussion, what do we think? This is going it's to the right? It's still going to go to the right. <laughs> That's my guess. Okay. You know Just what? about that much. There you go. Steph Curry for three. Do I get an assist? <laughs> yeah, why not? You're in the books, Raj. 17th hole, John Smoltz trying to get to 24 points. Oh, man. Oh, the early fist pump. Best finish 11 years ago when he was a runner-up. Tied for second that year. Meanwhile, over at 12, this is Mike Madano, and this has got to be one of the tougher putts on the course. Down the hill, speedy as it gets through the fringe. Looks pretty good. How about that? What a save for Mike Madano, who, in case you don't know, the NHL's all-time leader in both goal scoring and points among American-born players. Of course, he's in the Hall of Fame. Father-in-law is our good friend Joe Micheletti. And this just a moment ago, this is Seth Curry for par. Seth coming off three straight pars. Will it be four? Better believe it. Yes, sir. And he's jacked up. You think there might be a little bit of action between these guys? I mean, we know about the, the lake bet, Steve, but I got to imagine there's some side action going on here. Without too. question. So, Raj, what's left in this? Yeah, this, I think, if anything, moves a little up. But let me tell you about Seth's par. He was further in the trees than he was <laughs> off the tee. I don't know how. He has third shot from 166. I don't know how he got that far down <laughs> two more shots. But anyway, what a five. This one should go just a little left. So, Steph, after that great birdie on 15. Actually, oh. might have gone back right. And he got robbed. All right, so par four. Steph Curry there, par for Seth Curry there. All right, so both Seth and Steph in for par. This from dad to one better than, uh-huh. Why not? Off the side of the rim. But in. Yes, sir. You're gonna start taking strokes off your score and it happened for me and it's happened for a lot of guys. 20 yards and in, whether it's out of a bad lie, heavy lie out of a bunker, Work on that. Get off the range and go work on your short game. How about this? Does he make? Oh. All right. So no points here. I'll have the bogey. We move ahead to 17. Annika has 16 points through 16 holes. Well, birdie, birdie finish here would go a long way for Annika. How about a start? Oh, there you go. How about <laughs> she, that? She knew it from eight feet. Quickly to 19, and remember the par 5 18. So it's one of the things that's so cool about this golf course, Peter. Par 5, 16, and 18 sandwich with 17. You can make a lot of hay late. Brian Erlocker can do. <laughs> Look at him calmly roll it in. Nothing but a thing, Brian. New, the University of New Mexico's, right? Yeah. We are back at the 18th. That's Allison, her husband, Mike Madano, just inside the fairway, 205 yards away at this par five. Oh, gets on the green. And, oh, look at that. Oh, goes in for a double eagle, the first ever double eagle in the history of the American Century Whoa. Championship. That's worth 10 points. And that moves him all the way in to a tie for the lead with John Smoltz from 15 to 25, just like that. <laughs> High fives and hugs all around from Pavelski and TJ Oshie. Man, oh man, that has never been done in the history of the event. Well, it was a pure look and shot, obviously. But for it to go in is pretty, pretty rare. I mean, it's hard to get a double eagle. <laughs> yes, it is. To be at an event where it's never happened, there have been four holes in one here in the history of the event. Never before has there been a double eagle until just a couple of minutes ago. Whoa. Look at that From 205. Shot. Now, again, that was pure. because of altitude, they're probably taking 10% off. 
So that might have been a six or a seven iron. Absolutely incredible.